Today in this video, I will explain try catch finally in C sharp. So before we start, so I will explain the definition of the and how to justify about try catch finally. So here put first line the try catch finally block. Uh, try catch finally block in .NET allow developer to handle runtime exception. In simple word, we can say that like try catch basically used to handle runtime exception in C sharp application. So I am explaining also interview point of view and practical as well as correct and how to implement these things in real time project. These things I, I, I will also explain. So if you have any doubt, so you can ask me and uh, put your comment, your, your doubts in chat box and uh, I will try to give you correct answer. Okay. So in simple word, uh, like uh, try catch basically used to for handle runtime exception. Correct. And uh, the syntax has three variants using try catch. Like uh, first one, this one try catch, try finally and try catch finally. So uh, whenever we return any logics in your application, that time we have to put your logic into the try block. Why we require the try block? Try block that means suppose that we are doing some uh, calculation part, we are doing database connection string, we are fetching data from database and we are performing any action. That time that perform and we don't know how uh, which types of error range in this program. Correct. So I'll base your logic, your code, we put into the try block. Put suspected code here. Suspected like uh, I'm not sure this code is proper working or not. Correct. So to support that you are developing any application for any uh, enterprise. You have written some code, but I'm not sure. Sometimes it got any inputs wrong and somewhere showing error, exception error runtime. So as a developer, as a best developer, and our responsibility that always written code into the try block and whatever exception we got catch exception catch block and uh, store the exception in log file or so to the in UI for next time catch the catch block catch the exception here and finally means uh, support that uh, try catch block and sometimes finally means whenever always finally block execute Correct uh, program successfully execute in case finally block execute if code is failed and move to the catch block also in case finally block execute correct so try catch finally and finally always execute correct this block code will always get execute always execute execute means to support that uh, I uh, return some code here and showing some error a code move to the catch block right that times uh, and uh, compiler also execute this code always correct i hope you understand and uh, try catch block why it's important only the main thing is that to handle the runtime exception in c sharp application and syntax of the try catch finally block i have explained here theoretical also explained practically move right now okay so practically I have one application, this application and here showing item list and just time refresh this page and hit one controller and service layer. Correct. So this method is compiled here and just time try execute here. Give a Correct. I use here try block. Inside the try I am gathering all the input parameters and just try to execute query while try again try and i am using here catch block correct this one but now my code don't have any error so without to uh, generating any error it's moved to the without moving to the catch block it's come to the finally block correct and so you know now now it's come to the final block so uh, why we are using final block support that we are using connection dot close it's a connection string like whatever we make the connection with database connection string correct and just connect database support that i am not using finally block and my code showing uh, generate the error in this line and move to the catch block that times 
phone connection is open already but code might uh, code is generating error so code is stuck so it's not moved the move to the next line so it's failed and connection always open so finally we have to use whatever uh, whatever code i want to execute in, in case of failure so our my code is executed successfully or fail doesn't matter always close connection if code execute okay so data showing here one second one error showing here let's see what error showing here invalid and call read when it is closed correct so we have to remove this code first so actually So I'm using here again try catch below like that and run this application. That's what it correct. My API is running now. I hope you understand the theoretical as well as um, the blog how to use try catch block all these things. So just I move to the here my page and just execute correct. It's a real-time example or real-time application, correct? So uh, I will explain here to you and uh, I have one method. In this method I am using here, I make the connection string first. This is a connection string part and I am using the input parameter, SQL command. After that, uh, I am using here uh, loop and uh, whatever data we have received and uh, just put into the Okay, understood. So I just find out the issue here. Issue in between actually, I'm uh, it's moved to the into the loop, correct? So we cannot use here connection close. So connection close basically we can use here inside the this if else. So actually, this a while loop here. Once it's complete, so then we can use for example. I am using one uh, try here so for that this uh, uh, this is for this one and uh, try correct I hope you understand and uh, use try here correct catch exception Yes. Use here finally. Okay. Let's see. Get finally. I run application. I hope you understand. Just I create one try catch block in our code. It's a real time project and real time project. I'm explaining the try catch. Correct. I just add try catch in front of you. I'm not to explain the point of view that tutorials or education point of, but actually it's a practical things here. So API is running my properly and uh, here just uh, refresh again this page and this page again uh, hit one API service. And again, uh, connect, make the connection in database and try to fetch data from database. Correct. So it's move here. Just uh, okay. Suppose that try block. I execute this code, and it's read while loop, and uh, move to the final. And now, correct. 
and uh, this time continue okay it's come to the final block but code is not move the catch if you not have any error in this code so you directly move to the final block and close the connection and come out okay check on ui side so in here for record correct so for that uh, someone uh, change the value here input value now like that correct previously i am passing here int value right now i am pass convert into the string value so let's see what happen just uh, run again actually our agenda is that to uh, check to the catch block final block how to work right i hope you understand maybe uh, for understand uh, application is running now and uh, just a page running okay Okay, page run successfully, and I'm refreshing this page. Correct. And go to the service side. Okay, and just debug. Start to debug the this code. Connection string. Make the connection after that. Execute SQL command. And uh, now it's moved to the this catch block, try block. Correct. Inside the try block, I'm execute and showing here error. Error converting data type to and bracket to int. You know. Just I change that uh, connection uh, data, but now question is that uh, just I handle the exception and code execute continuously like that without uh, user interruption, right? And also, you know, uh, in case in case of uh, error, uh, it's also execute uh, final block means final block execute in both case code run successfully in case also code is facing some issue any exception that time also final block execute so final execute always actually i open the connection already so in case of error if i am not using final block that time so con always open so our responsibility that whenever we open the connection and that's a code execute successfully or fail doesn't matter matter that always connection should be closed memory or deallocation like that so connection close successfully and move to the next so i hope you understand and uh, here data is not saying why actually its code already failed why it's failed recently i changed it here type right. actually basically and previously we are using here int value right now i just convert into the string value like that so in stop procedure i am trying handle by int value so it's uh, failed here so actually we are using this try catch but it's not moved to the this try catch actually uh issue raise whenever this class execute cmd dot execute reader so cmd execute reader belong to this try block so this try block belong this catch block correct so whenever i change here this value and it's uh, directly convert hit hit here and execute this line and this line comes into the this try and this try handle by this catch block correct I previous done this one. Suppose so that uh, uh, I change here some code. Uh, get in 32, 64. I convert like 64 here. Let's show. It's showing already error. Correct. So it's a compile time error, not a runtime error. Suppose so that uh, I am using 32 he here and from database comes string value. So that time it's fail and come handle by this line and also handle this line. So I hope you understand. Try catch finally. I have already explained theoretical and syntax how to use try catch and practically here I explain in real time project. Not uh, like uh, I'm not explaining here like in a create a simple. Uh, one console application show a little bit and uh, one page and just uh, and, uh, explain now i explain real time project in this project i am binding data from database and that times i handle try catch and finally and how to handle this time that time of error correct so we can use multiple try catch in a code so for that we are using a try catch for your understanding purpose i explain so we will use here again try like that 
it's not have any issue correct like that for your uh, knowledge purpose i'm explaining these things correct we can use again we can use inside the try cache not any issue correct so like that we can use inside the exception we can also use try catch like that so this not any issue so you can use try catch inside the try catch inside the try catch inside the try catch right not any issue i hope you understand what i am trying to say here and uh, you and you have understand like try catch how to use real time use as well as i hope you understand these things so i have already created many more videos real time practical example along with and i have created interview video angular hp dot and core mbc if you think this video is uh, uh, knowledgeable for you so you can watch my another video as well as and you can put your comment your feedback in uh, comment so i will try to uh, improve my all these things whatever you have your suggestion thank you so much